Hi there. So I was asked an interesting question today on a webinar and I thought I'd build a quick solution. So we're demonstrating a non-disclosure agreement in Workflow Cloud using templates, merging instance information, getting it signed and getting it returned. And the template store has always sort of defaulted as an electronic file store and share, Box, Dropbox, Google Drive or OneDrive. And the question was about SharePoint libraries. Now I know it can be done, I've just never actually used it as the default. I've always tended to default to the, the config options, uh, which, which are EFSS. So I wanted to see how it could be done. So let's have a look at my existing MDA, MNDA process and we'll make a quick tweak. So here's my process, nice and easy. It takes a form, captures all the relevant information, the bits and pieces that I need for an MNDA. So name, company, email, job title, date, product that they're interested in, which is a data source look up to SharePoint, and then the signature. And I want to push that information through legal, first of all, do the right thing, get it approved, uh, and then into a template. Now, the templates that we're using are in OneDrive. So I've got a demo NDA template, which lives in, uh, in OneDrive, and it outputs into OneDrive. But the question was, could we use SharePoint as that incoming demo NDA? And we absolutely can. So I'll go show you my uh, OneDrive first. So here's my OneDrive location. It's got my templates and stuff in there. It's got some uh, appendix information. And here's my SharePoint. So I've updated and uploaded my MNDA into SharePoint. Now it's already tagged up. So I've already used the document tagger uh, on that document to go the relevant tags in there. Uh, so it should be pretty straightforward, ready just to um, merge or move across and just change this information. So what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the SharePoint online, get a file. It's only gonna be really useful for actually handling files between SharePoint libraries and different SaaS applications. So I'll grab that, configure that file. So I've already got a connection created. You'll need to do that in the connections tab or add a new connection if you're using this. And the site URL, I'll just copy that from um, my list. It's in Chris internal, let's grab that. I'll retrieve the libraries. That's gonna go in, grab a heap of document libraries or a few document libraries. Templates is the one that I wanna use. And the item ID, I'm gonna hard code that. I'm not variable driving templates, but you could because then you're creating another variable for the actual file. So if you really wanna make this a dynamic experience, then you could go down that leg. So let's see what the ID is for that document. It's number one, grab that. And the result is a file variable. So I'm actually grabbing the file from SharePoint, putting it into the workflow, storing it temporarily. And then DocGen is actually gonna use that instead of referencing a OneDrive file. There's my SP template. So at the moment it's got that file. I need to then just change my generate document action. So it's still pointing to OneDrive because I'll maybe just pop it into OneDrive as an output location. But I'm gonna change this from file, which is navigated through to that particular old location to the new template variable. Generation order stays the same, output stays the same, variables all stay the same, and my image signature. All that's changing now is it's gonna grab the file from SharePoint and use that as my template. Get the item from the collection because up to five different documents could be created by docgen so i work my way through but i'm using a single pdf so i'm just going to grab that uh, and then i'm going to get it signed as an example so i'll publish and we can quickly run through that nda example publish that and then i'll open mine in text and i'll start the form process All right, let's just continue tonight. So I should have my NDA form in the new mine index. There we go. All right, so who wants some secrets? Uh, maybe I'll just do myself here. Um, I'll use a demo account because this is gonna go external. So out of the domain, job title, um, let's just go. Date today seems to make sense. I uh, use my data source lookup. What am I really interested in? Promap, and then just sign my life away. 
So the NDA, so as we saw from the workflow, first thing that's gonna happen, it's gonna to go to a task, uh, first of all. So I'll just jump to the other profile and it's gonna pop a task in here. There's my task. I can just use lazy approval. NDA has been raised for an index by me. I raised it and I'm doing it, I'm doing my own NDAs. Send, it's probably a conflict of interest there. And now it's going to generate that document. It's still going to drop it into OneDrive, but it's then going to send me that for electronic signatory, and then it's going to send an email back. All right, that was quick. So here's my document. Nintex sign powered by Adobe sign. Let's review and sign the NDA. Hopefully that looks like the old template, but in the new location. Yep. This is the exact template. I've now added all my information in there from the form. Looks good. My signature's in there on my, my information about the person signing, and I'm just gonna pop in a signature. Apply and sign. Cool, so it works. Grabs a template from a SharePoint Online document library, uh, uses that in DocGen as the input. Nice and easy.